Today's episode, bedside pulling, no painting. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a complete repair. How I get a dent from looking like this to looking like this using no filler, no paint. Hello everyone, I'm Clark Ken, the man of steel. Let's dive right into this repair. I'm gonna start by taking a measurement. Top to bottom, we have two feet. I'm going to borrow a roll of painter's tape. I'm putting in a layer of protection on the flare. The flare clips like to break, so I left the trim intact to the panel. Now I'm going to bring in two towers to do all the pulling for me. Here is tower number one. I'm winding up the pulley, lining it up with the body line, locking in the pin, moving to the back side of the iron post, locking in one end of the chain to the floor pod, grabbing the hook and hooking it to the chain. Next, I'm reaching for my double claw hook and locking it to the other end of the chain. I'm pushing the tower forward to remove the slack. Setting up tower number two. I'm sliding in the perfect pull tower. Now I'm grabbing the shop Daytona jack. We need to lift the frame and slide in the spacer. The post is getting lined up dead center with the dent making sure the post is locked in and ready for some pulling. Look at that aluminum engraving. Isn't it a beautiful sight? I am colorblind. The bottom eye bolt of the second tower is lined up. Now moving on in this phase, running freshly squeezed, piping hot glue on the tabs, placing the tab on the edge, this is the most important tab, so I'm making sure it's straight and level. If you're interested in these collision tabs, message me. We have tab number two, putting it in place. Squeezing hot glue on tab number three, placing it, lining it up with tab number two. Squeezing hot glue to tab number four, placing it right next to tab number three. I grab tab number five, Going to put it next to tab number four. Applying pressure with my fingertips. Looking pretty easy so far. Nothing too difficult. I have tab number six in my fingertips. Squeezing hot glue. Placing the tab next to tab number five. Now the real fun begins. Connecting tab number one to the first tower. Oh, let's get it a little tighter. One more link, please. Now running the pin through the five tabs. I'm gonna pull harder with the first tower. So like a little girl, I'm gonna put a towel on the chain. It's actually more fun if the tab snaps off and flies across the shop and hits my toolbox. The first tower is now pulling the edge toward the rear of the truck. There is a lot of tension on this collision tab. Moving to the second tower, going to grab the ratchet strap and connect it to the pin. Going to give the ratchet handle a series of pulls and bang, just for fun, one more time, please. Let's take a closer look. I can't believe my eyes. The paint remains intact. No Bondo, no fillers. I don't want to over pull, removing the tab to check my work. Let's remove these tabs with alcohol. A couple squirts. Warming up the panel, getting ready for another round of pulling. 
squeezing glue to the tabs, placing it to the body line. Now reaching for tab number two, squeezing hot glue to the tab and placing it by tab number one. I misplaced my pin, so I'm going to use a screwdriver instead. I attach the strap, going to make another simple pull. Check out that panel flex. It's not easy working on truck beds. Matter of fact, I hate it. You're banging on the panel and dirt falling on your face. These tabs make it really easy for a beginner. Here is my next pull. This tab will fit perfectly right here. The glue is dry, time to connect the strap. Pulling and looking down the bedside. Looking good. Time to release the tab with some alcohol. I'm going to get surgical here. Like a good surgeon mapping out and marking the skin to make his next cut. I'm marking up the bed with a dry erase marker. Normally I clean the tabs. However, when I'm making a wet pull, I don't sit there and scrub the tabs. Instead, I'm cutting time. It's really hard to argue with the results you're about to see. Again, this is on wet pulling only. Going to use a slide hammer to make the next series of pulls. Grabbing the slide and bang, the glue set up quickly. Remove the tabs. Now it's time to use the knockdown in conjunction with my body hammer. I'm slicing the air artfully and skillfully with the hammer. I'm going back in with more glue tabs, gripping and ripping. Pulling back on the hammer on the slide and bang! You're getting a full free tutorial on this truck. It takes me a couple weeks to do an edit. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know if this is helping you on your bedside repair. Moving on. Next, going below the body line. My passion, I love watching metal go back into shape. You're coming along, living it, and experiencing it with me. Next round of glue pulling. Placing the tab to the bed and bang, bang with the slide hammer. Tab number two, placing it to the panel and bang with the hammer. Let's zoom out so you can get a wider perspective on my next series of pulls. Now I'm going to do some horizontal tab pulling. Notice I just pulled the majority of this dent using these plastic tabs. Bedside pulling, making it look easy. Some of these body shops around the world may need some collision glue training to reduce your Bondo filler use. We know how to put it back together with glue and save you some time. proceeding to the back side of the truck bed. I found a nice leverage point underneath. I'm really not pushing. I'm doing more twisting of the tool. I'm flexing with my forearms and using less shoulder. Starting at the top, you can see the metal tip working 
on the back side. I will be reading and removing the dent. Now I'm moving into the wheelhouse. I'm going to look for another access point with my adjustable head flashlight. Removing a couple of screws. Behold, we found an access hole. I'm going to use this 90 degree single bin. I can add extensions to the tool tip to reach different areas of the dent. The handle I'm twisting and pushing. I'm going to give you a couple of different camera angles. Notice there's no rips or tears in the tape. The tape held up and protected nicely. I'm going to switch sides. I'm going back and forth with some knockdown work. I'm using a leather tip, aluminum knockdown, along with precision blending with two hammers. We are now in the final stages. With the tool tip, I'm removing the remaining crease. Like magic, the dent is disappearing. Before I show you the final results, I want to thank Perfect pull for helping me in this repair. Here is the finished product. Thank you for coming along with me on this bedside pulling. Are you wanting to learn how to use less filler on your repairs? You might need my channel on your next dent. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in my next free video play.